Having a cut list really makes this project go by a lot faster. And I'm at the point now where I need to cut dados in both sides and top and bottom pieces of the actual frame. And in order for me to find out the, the width of the back dado, I need to first glue on my felt to this panel. My thickness is gonna change a little bit and I want a really snug fit. This door will go together very quick with some simple half-lap joints. On my final board, I'm using the cutlass to mark out the pieces for the base, crown, and French cleat system. All these pieces that I just cut are eventually going to be glued together to form the top crown molding. But before I do, I need to cut a, about a 30 degree chamfer on the smaller piece. And on the larger piece, I need to cut about a small 45 degree chamfer on one side. And then on this other corner, I'm gonna make a quarter inch by three eighths of an inch rabbit to straddle the top of the cabinet itself. My last few cuts will make the guitar holder brackets and it's just nothing more than a simple U-shape for the neck of the guitar and my off cuts here will be used as triangular supports to stiffen up the bracket on the back of the cabinet. I've just lightly sanded all my pieces really quick and some things tell me I should go ahead and stain so I think I'm going to put one coat of amber shellac on uh, before assembly and see how this goes. Because I made this really thin dado in the front of all my pieces earlier, I can now make a really clean and smooth transition from the felt to the wood. I'm removing the bottom three quarters of an inch of felt off of both vertical pieces to allow for better connection between the horizontals. I can install this magnetic latch and the door handle. I'm going to cut and fit all of my crown molding on the table saw with my miter slip. I'm going to glue this up separately from the rest of the case to make sure that my miters are absolutely perfect. These two pieces are going to form a French cleat system. When this piece is mounted on the wall, the cabinet will hook right over the top of it. I'm going to use some glue blocks to reinforce this crown molding. I've located the bracket with some blue painters tape, pre-drilled some holes, and now I can very carefully screw this in from below. I think this case would look really good in a dark stain or maybe a nice dark red oak. But I made mine out of some pine and amber shellac 
because the guitar that's actually gonna go in here is a really nice autographed, natural finished acoustic guitar. Now, I made this out of $98 worth of materials and about 10 hours worth of labor. So if you'd like to make one just like it, I've got a full step-by-step -step tutorial on my website as well as a downloadable plan for a little bit thinner cabinet for a, a solid body electric guitar. If you like this project, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel to see more projects like this. Thanks for watching guys and you have a great day.